What's going on guys? It's Matt and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to start a cleaning business with no money. Well, some money. You're going to need some money. Now this title isn't completely true. You're going to need some money and I would say you would need at least, at least, just to get started, $100. That's all you need. The reason is because you're going to want to use that $100 for you to get the things that we're going to be mentioning in this video. It's kind of essential and necessary for you to have these things in order for you to start your cleaning business. So let's get started. Number one, you're going to need to buy some cleaning products. Now I'm not starting this video with you setting up some type of LLC or some S Corp, anything like that. I'm starting this video with cleaning products. And the reason is because when I started my cleaning business, I started with very little money. I started with $100 and I used that money to get myself started. In the beginning, I didn't start with a structured business such as a corporation or an LLC. I skipped all of that, just went straight to generating revenue, trying to get some clients and starting my business. And if you're in that spot where you don't have much money to start with, then this is the route for you to go. So number one, start with the products. Now in this video, I'm not going to tell you guys the list of products that you need to buy because that's a separate video. In fact, you can go down below. I'll drop a link down there. It's called powergrowth.org. It's a website that I created for you guys to learn how to build your business, how to market your business, how to learn how to do sales. So it's a bunch of different courses on there. Some are free and some are premium, but check it out. Go to the website, powergrowth.org. The link is in the description. Now, once you have all of your cleaning products and everything that you need to buy for your business, the second thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set up a website. This is the second most important thing for your business after the products itself. It's your website. Most people, when before they hire a cleaning business, they're gonna to go to their website, they're gonna check out your information, learn more about you, what you do, what are the services that you offer, and you wanna make sure that you have a website up and ready so that when you are out here marketing and trying to get your few clients, they have a place to go visit and learn more about you and your business. Building a website has never been easier. You have Wix, you have uh, Squarespace, you have Weebly, uh, GoDaddy lets you uh, build a website for your business. If you're more familiar with uh, like front end design, you can use Webflow. That's what we use for our business. And frankly, it doesn't really matter which option you use. You just choose whatever option you're most comfortable with. Preferably, you want to choose a website builder that allows you to choose templates because that just makes your life so much easier. You'll start with that template and then just replace all the information with your own information. So websites are really important. It's almost impossible for you to run a successful business in today's market without a website. And speaking of websites, we also need some social media pages. Also, the next most important thing. So you'll want to set up your social media pages like Instagram, Facebook, most importantly, you can also set up social media pages on Twitter or TikTok um, if you're gonna be creating content for those platforms. But the two most important ones that you need is just Facebook and Instagram. When you're out here marketing and spreading the name of your business and your service, people will always look at your website and they will always look at your social media. You want to make sure that your website looks good and you wanna make sure that your social media pages look good. Next, number three, you want to get business cards made or flyers. Getting business cards made or flyers made is very easy. I like to use Vistaprint. I think it's one of the biggest companies that provides printing services and the prices on Vistaprint are actually pretty good. So if you don't have a website that you like to go to, I highly recommend Vistaprint and they have tons of options on there as well. Ever since I've you know been making things for my businesses, I've been using Vistaprint. Now when you make business cards, you can either choose the more premium ones or the more cheaper ones. In the past, I've had both, but I haven't really seen a difference. I think that if you're a you know selling a super high luxury product, then maybe the high premium business cards are the ones that you should go with for an everyday business, like a cleaning business, uh, a regular business card can do. What I like to do for my company is to get the glossy ones. I can actually show you guys. Okay, so this is the business card that we have. As you can see, it's, I don't know if you can see, um, that's our logo right there, the little house with the smile on it. It's a glossy card. I also got this on Vistaprint and then on the back we have our phone number for our business, our website, and then uh, our email. And then the key for business cards is to just keep it very simple. You don't need to go crazy with it. Don't go crazy with the colors on it or the shapes, thickness, you don't need to do all that. This is the cheapest version they have. 
it works very well for us and just make it simple make it cool see modern nice and simple and it'll do its job and then number four number four is probably the most important one out of all these steps and it's just to go out and hustle starting a cleaning business from scratch with little capital it's very hard in the beginning it's gonna be a slow moving type of progress it's one client at a time you're not going to you know build a million dollar business overnight if you're persistent and you're hustling and you're giving out your business cards to as many people as possible you're talking to as many people as possible you're advertising your services online to as many people as possible then you will get your clients one at a time um, it's just a matter of you being patient being consistent and determined to get your company off the ground and, and to the next level. Uh, when I started my cleaning business, my first client came from a walk-in. I just walked into a real estate office. I didn't get any jobs for the real estate office, but the, one of the real estate agents there became a client of ours and she was the first one that, uh, that hired us. And so just to recap with you guys, number one, we're gonna be buying the cleaning products. Number two, we're going to be setting up the website and social media pages. Number three, we're going to get some business cards and some flyers. And then number four, we're just going to hustle. And we're gonna go out there and try to get in people's faces and try to get some clients for your business. So that's it for this video. Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel as well so you guys don't miss any of the new videos I'm putting out in the future. Go to the link in the description below, powergrowth.org. Go join that website. You guys are gonna love it. It's gonna have tons of great resources for you that are building your business or trying to grow your business, market your business, um, take it to the next level. This website's definitely gonna be very valuable to you. So go check that out. And if you have any suggestions or videos you guys wanna see in the future, or just wanna leave a nice comment, leave it down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.